Assalamu alaikum and good evening guys and welcome back to our mini series here where we are working on the SEA specimen papers that were put out by the Ministry of Education right in preparation for the 2021 exam uh, with the revised assessment framework. All right so we are on the mathematics paper here and we are on number four and we have uh, this question. The scores in a video game are given for four players. Right, so we have the four players, we have their, their names and their scores. We have Dev, Liz, Suri, and Vida. Right, and the scores are given on the right hand side, on the right column. And we want to know who scored the highest. All right, so of course, for this question, we're going to have to go through um, the, four, the four different scores and determine who has the highest score. So we can start by looking at the um, tens of thousands column here, right? So this would help us to eliminate um, lower scores if there are any, which, which are obviously lower, all right? But all have the digit four in the tens of thousands um, column in our place value table, right? So I'm just imagining a place value table here. Of course, you can feel free to draw one in. So you have the tens of thousands, the thousands, the hundreds, the tens, and the ones, all right? So then... We move on now to the thousands column. All right, so we have a six, a nine, an eight, and a nine there. So the six and the eight would be eliminated, right? Because we are looking for the highest score. Um, so that would leave us with the two scores um, that have nine in them. All right, so that leaves us with Liz and it leaves us with Vidal. Now we'll move on to the hundreds column, right? Where we have between Liz and Vidal, right? Vidal has an eight and Liz has a six. So she has six hundreds, whereas Vidal has eight. So obviously uh, Vidal's score is going to be higher, right? So Vidal's score is 49,876, whereas Liz's score is 49,687. So who scored the highest? The answer here would be Vidal. All right, the answer would be Vidal. So now we'll move on to the next question. So the items below are on display at Sarah's Electronics Store. Sarah's Electronics Store. What fraction of these items are phones? What fraction of these items are phones? All right, so we're going to have to express this as a fraction. And to do so, we're basically going to have to figure out how many items there are in total, all right? How many items there are in total, and that is going to give me the denominator. So how many items are there in total in the store? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight phones, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight phones, four laptops, and two monitors, right? Two monitors or televisions here, right? So it's an electronic store. So therefore, what do we have in total? We have eight plus four is 12 plus two is 14. So we have 14 items in total and eight of those items are phones. Eight of those items are phones. So therefore, the fraction that is representing the number of phones in the store would be eight out of 14. And of course, this can be reduced to four out of seven. Four out of seven um, representing the number of phones in the store. So the question asks what fraction of the items are phones? The answer is 8 over 14, which is reduced to 4 out of 7. All right, so those are our two questions for today. We'll do another two or three questions tomorrow. All right, so do take care, and I will see you all in tomorrow's episode. God willing. Hi guys, uh, me again, hope you enjoyed that last video there. I just wanted to take a moment to let you know that I have a six week crash course in mathematics for SEA 
beginning on the 26th of April, right? The registration for that closes off on the 23rd of April, which is uh, next week, Friday. So if you are interested in joining that class or having your child or ward join that class, please contact me at the number there below, 392-5296. Also, I'd like to remind you all, remind everybody, that see results, we are on YouTube, right? So all of these videos every day that we post, um, they are there on our YouTube channel. You can just search see results on YouTube and you will find the see results Academy with all of our videos that we've done in the past in collaboration with IBN Channel 8, as well as we are on Facebook and we are on Instagram, all right? So you all can find us on all of those platforms subscribe to us like us follow us and don't forget um if especially on youtube uh, to like the videos to subscribe to share them give a thumbs up um, because it helps the algorithm uh, make our videos become more accessible to people right especially those who are out there who are looking for assistance in preparation for their sea exams and, you know, we have a lot of free material here. We have a full course, basically, um, in SEA on the Facebook page, as well as the YouTube uh, account, right, in ELA Mathematics and Creative Writing. So please like, follow, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video, God willing.